I really love playing these songs. It, it fills me with energy and I think that's what makes it such powerful music is that it just makes you want to dance. Hello, akam jitan makan kia tali brazi isin jatitia ayantura. Akam makan kia ayantura. I work as an engineer by by day, but in my uh, in my evenings and weekends, my passion is music. With that, I'd like to talk about how I came to be involved uh, to learn about Oromo music, and of course, all of that comes back to uh, meeting you. Before I met my wife, I didn't have any uh, connection. I I would never have uh, learned about um, Oromo music or culture except uh, by meeting her. Um, before that, I was interested in music from all over the world. I learned uh, Irish Celtic music for fiddle. I learned um, uh, West African Ali Farka Toure's uh, sound in Mali, the West African guitar sound, uh, which actually uh, made me very familiar with, with Ethiopian music and Oromo music specifically because of some similar scales when I, when I got introduced to it. met uh, my wife, you know, one of the first things, one of the things that we talked about in the beginning would have been music and she introduced me to what she grew up with, which is, of course, Ali Birra and Ali, Shab Ali Shabbo and yeah, that was something I just, I fell in love with the first time I heard, heard those old, you know, videos on YouTube with, with the guitar playing and, and, um, and the way that they sang and when, when you explained to me their meanings. Yeah, um, I felt like I you know, how do you say this word? Mm -hmm. I I I I I I I can understand more than I more than I speak. You know, God willing, when we have kids, I want my kids to learn uh, Oromo and I also want them to learn Tamil, which is my language. So we both want to, you know, learn each other's languages. And so learning the music was a big, a big way for that for me. Yeah. So in addition to being inspired by the great Ali Birra and Ali Shabbo uh, from Haragi region, I'm also inspired by Haj Alu and Galana Garom Garomsa and, and many other Oromo musicians. Um, including the Shawa uh, uh, Salale Oromo sound uh, and I actually used um, some inspirations for, from a lot of different regions in Oromia as well as uh, the Horn of Africa and uh, the Sahel regions showing the connections between these two regions in an album that I put out last year called The Fire Inside. I'll tell you a story It's all but it's true There once was a And so I have to say that I'm very grateful that, that I learned uh, about Oromo music. I'm very grateful that I, that I have been able to learn about uh, music from this part of the world, which is, as I said before, very natural sounding and um, something that we, I think we've lost in, in modern music a little bit is the, is the um, connection to nature and the, and the simplicity and yet complexity. It's, it's complexity within simplicity that all traditional music from all over the world has. And so that's my passion, and I'm very grateful that I was able to share a little bit of my inspiration from Oromo music with you guys. Nagati, salam alaikum.